to sports science. The world's best athletes can train and prepare 24-7, 365. But once the game starts, there will always be elements out of their control. The variables, the X factors. pull. Everyone on Earth accelerates downward at the same rate, 1 G. But when you collide with something, the resulting acceleration or deceleration is also measured in Gs. We've rigged our test subjects with high-tech accelerometers to show how G-force acceleration works. Sumo wrestler at rest, 1 G. Sumo wrestlers bumping bellies, 54 Gs. Joey Porter in a stance, 1 G. Joey Porter blindsiding a quarterback, 165 Gs. Rampage Jackson, howling, 1 G. A dummy bouncing off the floor after a Rampage body slam. 400 Gs. These are hard hits, but they last only a few milliseconds. In other words, big G-forces over a small amount of time. But what happens when that ratio is reversed? Small G-forces over a sustained amount of time. To find out, let's turn to auto racing. NASCAR drivers pull three Gs around the turns. And Formula One drivers can experience around four Gs. The G-force is 100 times less than the Rampage Jackson body slam. But the duration is 200 times longer, three seconds. To find the form of racing that sustains the highest Gs over the longest interval, we head to the drag strip. When a top fuel dragster erupts from zero to 330 miles an hour, the driver experiences up to five Gs over four seconds. Making those four seconds count is the specialty of top NHR driver, Hillary Will. I mean, I am dead stopped, and I hit that throttle. Pulls me so hard back in the seat. It's amazing. I mean, I have to have a chin strap to hold my chin down, and it's tight. Otherwise, there's no way I could even hold my head up. At 5 Gs, Hillary experiences pressure equal to five times her body weight, 550 pounds. It's like driving with a sumo wrestler in your lap, but which makes shifting gears a little dicey. It is literally like an astronaut launching in a shuttle because it's the same kind of G-forces. But drag racing is even tougher than taking off in the shuttle. During launch, astronauts are on autopilot. Hillary's not. She has to control a horizontal rocket with five times her body weight holding her back. Even a tiny mistake can mean disaster. hard is it to perform under pressure? The pressure of many times your own weight bearing down over a long period of time. Team leader John Brinkus is about to find out. All right, so we had Hillary Will here, who is an NHRA drag racer. Right. She reaches speeds at 330 miles an hour. She weighs about 100 pounds, so that's about 500 pounds of force coming against her. If I weigh 160, 
we'd have to have 800 pounds. That's gonna be a little difficult for us to duplicate, but with the weights that we have here and you fighting gravity vertically, uh, we're gonna try to meet it as far as we can. All right, this is a 75 pound weight vest. Oh. <laughs> Am I supposed to be having trouble breathing? Now, why don't you have a seat? Because right, then that's going to be more like that. Uh... across the chair? <laughs> Hillary competes while pulling five Gs, five times her body weight. So far, John's bearing less than two Gs. And even that is too much to handle. Oh, get it. <laughs> Come on, get yourself up. Oh! Nice. Woo! All right. Hop over here. Hop on the scale. Here we go. 330 That's pounds. Nice. The added weight makes John feel as if he's accelerating at two Gs, double his normal G4s. Can he control it? I'm going to try to drive like Hillary. Hillary has to hold her arms in front of her body like this. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh, well, not like that. You're bent back. <laughs> You can't house. bend back. Oh, I'm gonna... You gotta straight out in front of you. Okay. Straight out in front of you. Four and a half seconds. Ready? Ah! Ah! Not bad. Ah! Yeah. The point of this was to humiliate me and to show me that a hundred pound woman is five times as strong as I am. Honestly, I think you've made your point. Oh. John's ready oh. to give up, but we need a little more data and it's third and long that's a very weighty demonstration of the difficulties of trying to control the uncontrollable get this stuff off now please Next on our list of X Factors are coaches. That's the best you got. When we return with more of sports science. Oh, Lobo's still here. Out of control. I got a damage your attitude.